Next is, as stated previously, the MOS transistors have three regions of operation, okay, which I have already discussed in the previous video also. Three regions of operations we have in this MOS transistor that is, one is cutoff region, another one is linear region, and uh, the third one is saturation region. The ideal first order equations which describes the behavior of an NMOS device in three regions are given below, okay. These are the three equations for IDS, okay, uh, for th three uh, regions. One is for cutoff, one is for linear, and one is for saturation, which is given here. In case of cutoff region, the condition is VGS minus VT is less than or equal to zero, and the value of IDS is equal to zero, okay. In case of linear region, the condition is VDS is less than VGS minus VT, okay, and the given equation is beta into VGS minus VT into VDS minus VDS square divided by 2. Okay, so this is the equation in linear region. Also, in case of saturation region, the equation is given by beta by 2 into VGS minus VT, the whole square, and the condition is VGS, uh, VDS is less than, VDS is greater than VGS minus VT. Okay, in case of saturation region. So, what is this beta here? Uh, this beta here, let us see here. IDS is the drain to source current, VGS is the gate to source voltage, VT is the device threshold and beta is the MOS transistor gain factor, okay. This is basically the gain factor in these equations, okay. It has the separate formula here, uh, beta is given by mu into epsilon divided by TOX into W by L, where W is the width of the transistor and L is the length of the transistor, okay. Uh, this is the actual equation is beta is equal to mu cox into w by l okay where the cox is there right that cox is equal to epsilon ox divided by tox okay so see here uh, epsilon divided by tox that is equal to the oxide capacitance here so that uh, uh, that is basically you could be saying that as the gate capacitance in case of this gain factor okay yeah so this is the mosfet gain factor which tells us how effectively a mosfet can conduct okay the conduction of the mosfet would be basically dependent on this gain gain factor it is crucial in defining the drain current ids okay components one is mu okay mu uh, i have already wrote, written this mu here so this mu is basically the mobility of charge carriers Okay, mobility of charge carriers that is uh, it checks how fast electrons move in the channel when electric field is applied. Next is epsilon that is permittivity of gate oxide. Okay, how well it can store in the electric field. Next is TOX. TOX is the gate oxide thickness. Okay, thinner uh, the thinner the gate oxide, the better the control of the gate terminal. And WL is as I already told you, it is the width and length of the channel. Okay. The intuition, or we could be saying one thing as uh, the could be uh, you assuming one thing for uh, this uh, body effect that is higher the mobility, faster are the carriers and uh, the current would the current would be in the higher amount. Okay, larger the value of W by L, the wider is the channel. Okay, uh, wider channel means the width would be definitely more. So that's why the larger value of W by L and more room for carriers. Okay, so if the width and length value is large, the area would be sufficiently very large in size so which would be leading to the area would be in large in size which would be leading to the more room for the uh, carriers to enter okay smaller the value of tox stronger the gate control over the channel okay so this is the these are some of the takeaways or the intuitions which you need to be taking in the uh, consideration okay So now with respect to the formulas which I have discussed right now, let us see one simple numerical example, okay. Uh, as VDS increases, IDS also increases slightly, okay, that one thing which I have seen here, okay. Example calculation here, so see here, these are some of the typical values for NMOS device which is mentioned here, the value of mu n is uh, 500 centimeters square per V, epsilon is 4 into 8.85 into 10 to the power minus 14 farad per centimeter. The oxide uh, thickness is 500 angstrom, okay. And so by substituting the value in the equation that is uh, beta, here they have asked us to find the value of beta here, okay. 
So if you substitute the values and if you find the value of beta, we would be getting around 35 into W by N micro ampere per voltage square with respect to the value, whatever value you give to the width, uh, width and length, the answer we would be getting for beta. Okay. Yeah. So this was completely about body effect. If there are some more theory part uh, in brief, uh, in the, which is mentioned in the notes, which I have not explained. Okay. So this uh, notes I'm, I would be giving you in the description. So you could be accessing that and you could be referring our notes as well. Okay.